Hello everyone and welcome back to more Second Reality Project Reloaded! Monty Monument is next. Let's do it. So I guess this is the monument, oh geez, dedicated to maybe worshipping the Montys perhaps? I'm not sure why you would want to worship the moles, but I guess that's just how thing, ooh, geez, oh, things go. And here's a pokey! Yeah, there are only three high around here, but they can be, oh, I suck. But they can be five high, so yeah, you might need to look out for those kinds if you come across them, because they're much, much harder to jump over overall. And I'm not really sure if there's anything worth getting in these boxes here. I never really bothered to take the time to check these things, because it takes a while to check these things. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a dragon coin, I guess, but is that a, a reward worth it to you? Who knows? Uh, okay, there's really nothing there, so I'm glad I never checked those things. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the Koopa Lake hybrid of the place because there's Koopas above a lake. I don't know. I'm just kind of making observation jokes out of it. <laughs> so for some reason now there's clouds and stuff like that. It's I, I don't know why they're this close to the ground, but that's that's how they roll, I guess. Maybe they're more like fog rather than clouds. That that's my best guess overall. And this is too low, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, a little bit of worry there for a second. <laughs> Just sort of carefully going along here at my own pace. By the way, uh, if you didn't realize, this is, this level has a secret exit because it's a... Well, because it's got a red dot on the map. So yeah, be on the lookout for said secrets. Just saying, okay? Okay. Hmm, this, this looks a little suspicious, like there's something to climb out of over here. Hmm. 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 Oh yeah, I'm hinting at something. <laughs> this box is pretty annoying to get. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's got this one square um, tile jump here, and you actually slide off it when you touch it. So you're so you gotta like jump on it, and then jump qu up quickly to the box before you slide off because it's pretty hard to control on such slopes. Ooh, <laughs> especially when you've only got one square worth of room. Follow the coins? Okay. Always trust the coins. Okay, maybe not always, because sometimes coins lie to you. Uh, that coin could be fun to get. Yay! Oh no! <laughs> I need to watch the Koopas more. Well, that's the regular exit. Now I gotta go back in and get ye old secret exit somewhere. Somewhere. Could it be at that place that I pointed out before? Maybe. Could be. Might be. It is. Well, at least one half of it. <laughs> the reason why is because the secret exit is a key and... Wow. <laughs> this is a key and lock combo. So, what you gotta do is go down to a spot that hints via that jump up platform segment thingabjigger and what you'll be able to do is grab a key from there and then there's another spot later on that you gotta use to jump down to as well. And it, yeah, it's a pretty exploratory level overall. Uh, when, well, at least when you are going for the secret exit. <laughs> But otherwise, you can you know run through, run run through it though. But eh, I want to get all the exits, so that is what I am going to do. I miss my cape already. Oh, <laughs> why am I playing so badly? I don't know. Well, actually, I probably just need to play more patiently. That's the key. Patience is key. Well, unless time is not on your side, you know, via like maybe you have a time restriction on said level or something like that. Hey, a cape! How lovely. And... Oh, why? <laughs> Not only did I lose my cape, but I lost my item in reserve. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so I took a hit as I was going down. And yeah. Yeah, alright. Wait, how did I get a 1-up? Oh, 100 coins, of course. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly forgot about that. Okay, go down here. Maybe not there. 
But as you see, there is a um, uh, spot that you can go down to in there, which leads to the key. Well, you didn't see the key just yet, but I assure you there's a key down there. <laughs> just as long as you don't drop straight down, I suppose. That wasn't exactly uh, clear by the setup there. <laughs> Aha! Ho 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 ho! He 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 he! And now this time I'm gonna jump to the right. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe it is sort of clear because the building gets cut off there. I don't know. Well, there's the key. Now I gotta keep it to the end. Be very careful now. Do not release your jump button. Especially when you're above a bottomless pit or you will lose the key forever in the current run. <laughs> so, yeah! Ooh! Ooh! There's a box down there. Could it be hinting at something else? Maybe, but I most certainly want to get this power up first because it's a cape and I can use it to glide over stuff. Yeah, the secret exit is down here. And... So I see what's in here. Just coins, really? Well, there you go. And this secret allows you to skip out on the level to the left. Yeah, just one level, but I don't really know if that's much of a benefit to you because this place... As you can tell, there's a big spot on the map, which means it's got a Switch Palace in it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really sure why you would want to skip out on this level, even though you can skip out on this level. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you want to, say, challenge yourself to not use said uh, Switch Palaces the whole way through. Maybe, could be, might be. Oh no no no! Well oh, shoot, my Yoshi. No, you you destroyed him. Well, I exacted my revenge on the hammer, bro. Well, technically the hole was the thing. Oh jeez, was the thing that destroyed him. Uh, you can run up these things by doing that, and yeah, you've seen those things in the original Super Mario World, so I, uh, As I said, I'm, I'm expecting that you know what you're doing in this game to an extent, because if you're playing a Super Mario World hack, chances are you've played the original Super Mario World before. It's pretty treacherous. <laughs> Just think, this is only World 2. <laughs> Alright. Moving on, carefully, very carefully, across one block pipe jumps. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Ho -ho -ho. These jumps really aren't all that difficult. It's uh, when they add like ice to one block jumps that it becomes really difficult. <laughs> oh, can't go down there, it's, it's up. Forgot about that. Whee! Midpoint! Oh yeah! But. But, but, oh, green dotted lines, could it be? Yes, it's the Switch Palace! And there's a bunch of munchers down there, so you best not go down there unless you have a Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshis don't mind them in the slightest, and oh geez. Is it gonna bounce back? Because I'm pretty sure there's a wall there, okay. It must have despawned then. B-Switch! Don't, ooh, the fire enemies from... Uh, that one special world level this early in the game. Why must you torment me with such evilness? Well, Yoshi can eat them, despite the risk of heartburn. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> uh, is there anything down here that I can check? Oh, there's a. Oh. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 wow. That's, that's pretty generous. <laughs> well, I suppose it's not that generous because you're probably gonna lose a life. If you don't have a Yoshi uh, when you come in here. So, yeah. Anyway, at the end of this corridor that looks incredibly familiar is a switch. Oops, I missed. There we go. Green blocks will give you capes if you whack them, so they are pretty dang handy overall. Alright, now I gotta do the level normally. Whee! Block fireworks! And back in we go. It doesn't save the game um, like it does after regular Switch Palaces in the original Super Mario World, so be wary of that if you are playing save stateless and whatnot. Yeah. Although I'm probably going to end up uh, save stating between parts, um, like just for the sake of uh, safety, <laughs> you know, in case of failed recordings or whatnot. 
Yeah, you can ne you never trust a recording, ever. Just like you can't trust pipes. There could very well be a plant down there, a lack of two, you never know. By the way, uh, having Yoshi eat a blue shell will allow you to fly. What's up here? Eh, just dead end. No, 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 don't swallow. Don't swallow yet, okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was that close to its swallowing procedure. But it all worked out in the end. Because I didn't fall down the pit. And even if I did fall down the pit, I could have Yoshi jumped out of it. It may be sacrificial to the Yoshi, but it's all in the name of continued progress. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to end up back at the midpoint. There we go. It's, it's pretty handy to uh, get that midpoint the thing in case things go awry in that switch palace over there, but yeah, it you probably won't have any issues on that unless you are like you jump down at the munchers at the start and you panic and you can't get yourself back up out of the place or something like that. <laughs> so there's uh, some use for the switch blocks right there and uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're moving. This feels very familiar, like a certain secret level. Ride that platform like the... Oh, are we already done? Like, we can't be done already. Oh, shoot! My Yoshi, no! I just keep losing Yoshis left and right. Well, Yoshis do make your hitbox a lot larger, so... That, that kind of explains why. To an extent... Oh, now we're done. <laughs> Woo! Another level. Bites the dust. 100% it. I'm pretty sure. Look at the background still going, even though we're standing in place. <laughs> uh, uh, should I do this one? It's got a secret exit, and eh, I, yeah, I guess so. Against my better judgment, cave exploration. So it's an auto scroll level with this treadmill. Um, the original version of this game uh, didn't have a treadmill. It just made you slide back, which looked weird. It had, it had to do with the. Uh, the way the game layers stuff, like you are on one layer, like uh, the layer, probably the one that's above on your on the ceiling there, and the treadmill is on another layer. So that's how it's able to do this uh, track here, and what what that causes is that since you are on a different layer than the rest, it makes you look like you're sliding back even though you're just moving with uh, the rest of the screens. So. Uh, the treadmill it was put in there to sort of, kind of, uh, make it look like there's actually, uh, it was done on purpose, <laughs> so to speak. I mean, yeah, the idea of the level to slide back on this platform was done on purpose, but, but, um, the original version of the game didn't have all these custom graphics to be able to do this sort of thing, so, uh, it just looked like you were sliding for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and these... Spikes fall, so you gotta so trigger them carefully, two at a time, good, very good. Gotta be careful, just gotta be careful. By the way, there's like little bushes in the background, unless it's like emeralds or something like that going on there. Oh, I think we're done with this track, yeah, don't go under there ever. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to be very happy with what happens when you get to this point because it stops and you're trapped. <laughs> Anything there? No, okay. Just want to see the, the corner. There might be something hidden there. Do not. Do not. Oh, this uh, section right here is kind of slippery if it's the section I'm thinking it is. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm thinking it. Wait, did I, did I kill that prana plant? It looked like I didn't. It looked like it still went in the pipe, unless that was a smoke trail that was... Uh oh. What have I done? <laughs> oh jeez, that was close. Unless it was the... Uh, as I was saying, unless it was the smoke trail that made it look like that it was still the plant. Just gonna do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna carefully go down. Okay. We're safe. This is weird. <laughs> I'm not touching anything and that happens. Now, th these kinds of jumps right here, you might want to practice them, like on here. In order to jump off the slope, you need to be sort of pushing against the slope. Because if you're um, moving forward, or if you're running forward on the slope, sometimes you do not jump. I think the reason why this happens is because you end up 
getting popped slightly in the air, and thus you can't jump off the ground because you're not actually touching the ground. Ugh, this is scary. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's that's why that happens overall. And no, oh, geez, I'm running a long time. I better hurry things up. Actually, 100 seconds is ample time. In all honesty, yeah. <laughs> We're at the end of the level, but where is the secret exit? Well, remember those pipes in the um, treadmill segment? Well, one of them contains an alternate path to said secret exit, and I got a bonus game! I forgot which one yields mushrooms. Um, uh, this one was it? Oh boy, I was holding the key button, which kind of messed with my rhythm. Yeah! <laughs> Jackpot! And yes, I do need the lives in this game, as I said, because this game is going to get ridiculously hard later. <laughs> Whew. All right, regular exits. I mean, excuse me, secret exits. Go! So, get on that platform. It's, uh, actually, I think it's one of the pipes relatively early in the level. I don't need that cape, um, at least at the moment. Because I've got two capes in my reserve, and I most certainly want to have a cape for this sort of level. <laughs> Having that little bit of floatiness really allows you to offset the timing of stuff, which is extremely handy to have. Yeah, it's sort of gives you a larger opening than you would normally have. I think the secret exit is uh, up this pipe here, actually. No, no, not that one. I was holding up, but then again, I don't trust that the Xbox D-pad in the slightest. <laughs> Never trust the Xbox 360 D-pad. Ever. Oh, it's in that pipe, okay. <laughs> now we're underwater. In this icy segment, it's ridiculously cold, and the key is right here. But surprisingly, we don't have hypothermia. I don't know how that works, especially since we aren't exactly protected. See, my face is out in the open, stuff like that. Frostbite would come pretty quickly, but nope, not here. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, all the music, it's so calming. It's so relaxing. I don't want to go in that pipe just yet. I just want to explore. There's a little bit of cutoff on the right side of there. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell um, once I cropped the screen a little bit because of the um, uh, the way the emulator records. There's a, I mean, the way the emulator displays, there's a black, uh, thin black bar at the edge of the screen. I like to cut that off in the recording so the screen uh, fills the whole thing. L let me in. Let me into secret exit. There you go. And that pipe leads to the uh, other area. All right, iceberg number one. But I'm gonna do that and the ghost house, and perhaps other stuff in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.